gonna show you again knees. I'm gonna show you a combination to use with your knees. So that's I'm gonna show you elbow, bam, then knees, or knee, then elbow. But I usually like to do elbow because it flows. Elbow, we grab head, then knee, elbow. After the elbow, the same clinch, grab the head, bam, all right? With the elbow and knee, you're gonna throw, just like I'll show you with the elbows, you can throw them like here, you can throw them coming down with the point. I usually throw them coming down with the point because it flows easier. So if I come here, boom, and knee. I come here, boom, and knee. If you notice with an elbow, my rhythm, my body pivots. I want to pivot it and hit here, hit. I can cut across, just like what I told you. you. Grab the head here, and you're bringing your opponent down into your knee. All right. So your elbow, boom, bring him down. Elbow, boom, cross, down. Elbow, boom, boom, down. Elbow, boom. And down, boom, and down, boom, and down, boom, and down, boom, down. Here, so you're going one, two, down, one, two, down, one, two, down, one, two, down, down, forward, down, cut. Or trying to pinpoint on the body where you're going to hit. 
So if I'm going to hit for the solar plexus, I'm going to hit for the solar plexus. If I'm going to hit for the face with that kick, I'm going to hit. And I practice to hit directly. So I don't have to do it more than maybe three times or maybe even once. And I can hit my opponent. So always practice that. So whenever you're training and you're practicing on a punching bag or with somebody, you're always trying to practice slowly and accurately on every single shot. Always make it count.